Hello everyone, welcome to the science stuff. Today we are going to be doing an experiment using hibiscus or china rose as a natural acid and base indicator. Hope you enjoy. So for this experiment, I'll be using some red china rose petals, a container full of water, some spoons, an empty cup, a cup with some vinegar and a cup with some soap solution. So first, I'm going to start with putting all of these petals into this container full of water. Okay, so now I'm going to boil the petals in the water for a few minutes. After around 3 minutes, you can see that the petals have completely lost their color. Now I'm going to let it cool for a while and I'm going to remove these petals from the water. There. Now that the solution has completely cooled down, I am going to be adding it to a transparent cup. Against the white background, you can see the proper dark pink color. Now, I am going to be taking a spoon and adding some of the china rose indicator to the vinegar. Then, I am going to be stirring it well. I am also going to add some of the china rose indicator to the soap water. Then I am going to stir it well too. I then added a little more of the china rose or the hibiscus indicator to both of the cups. After some time, you can clearly see that the vinegar or the acidic solution has turned into a magenta red color as compared to the original china rose solution. And we can see that the soap solution which was a basic solution has turned into a green color. Now, let's conclude what we saw in this video. A natural pigment known as anthocyanin which gives the red color to many flowers is present in the red hibiscus petals. When the flowers were boiled, the anthocyanin was extracted from the petals. This anthocyanin reacts with acids and bases to form a change in color. When the solution containing the anthocyanin was added to the vinegar, which is acidic in nature, it reacted with the vinegar to form a magenta reddish solution as seen here. When the solution containing the anthocyanin was added to the soap water, which is basic in nature, it reacted with the soap water to form a green solution as seen here. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you learned something new and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next. And you're watching The Science Stuff.